The Prime Minister wants union and business bosses to face jail if they trade workers' rights for cash. But it's the money lost in Sunday penalty rate cuts that Labor wants fixed. It's calling on the government to support overturning the Fair Work Commission's decision. Political editor Chris Yulman. The Prime Minister wants to open a new front in the industrial relations war. Secret payments are utterly unacceptable. By seeking the power to prosecute businesses and unions that strike backroom deals, encouraging a union or a union official to act improperly at the expense of workers. Big labour, big unions have ignored the interests of their members and traded their rights away in return for payments from employers. This is all about transparency in the workplace. But there's no doubt who the target is. This is a real test for Bill Shorten. Bill Shorten also wants to make the industrial relations fight personal. And you're not covered by a union agreement? No. Bringing workers like Andrew Welsh to Canberra, who faces having his Sunday penalty rates reduced because of a ruling by the Fair Work Commission... Less money, which won't help with uni. ..that the opposition leader wants the Prime Minister to wear. Can the Prime Minister tell Andrew why he has to take a pay cut? But Malcolm Turnbull wants to talk about unions cutting conditions. Traded away penalty rates in one EBA after another. And make it very personal. Now the leader of the opposition has been selling workers down the river for years. Trading away penalty rates for years. Taking back handers for years. And we're going to stop it. Bill Shorten's punching just as hard. And on the issue of penalty rate cuts, the Prime Minister is either dishonest or ignorant. The truth is, everyone stretches the truth. A Royal Commission into Unions found Bill Shorten had no case to answer, and Labor knows that the penalty rate reduction is the independent umpire's call. We respect the Fair Work Commission, we absolutely do, but they've got this decision wrong. And if the government won't overturn it, the call becomes... The Prime Minister's cuts, the Coalition's cuts. What matters in politics is what people believe. Chris Yulman, ABC News, Canberra.